Hello again. This is the saga, the continuing saga of the EHT unit. Uh, yesterday I replaced all of the capacitors in this chap and I tried it again last night and it seemed to be fine. So today I decided to run it up with the oil in it and give it full voltage. So we got to about 22 kV and it started to spark. So open it up, had another look and it appears to be coming from the one of the capacitors. Um, the distance I would have thought would have been fine, but obviously not. Uh, and again, we've rerouted things, as you can appreciate. And I have to say, I really do not believe that this is a hugely successful job to repair these things. So I've been going round and round in circles today thinking, how can we get round this? Because I do not know of another one. So... I thought, ah, what about my old favourite, the jelly pot? And I thought, ah, why not try it? There's no reason why I shouldn't try it. So I did. And I was quite surprised that uh, you can sing it away at one kilohertz and you get a fairly reasonable spark off the, the output. I said, ah. So a single, uh, one of these single BY8210 things here, um, I put that on here to check what kind of voltage I was getting. I was getting about 8 kV. And I thought, oh, really good. Now you notice at the moment I'm using a different line output valve. I'm using an EL36 in there at the moment. And this is a bit of a cobbled up job. The regulation's not connected, right? And for, you know, this 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 this, this is one of the windings. I thought I could use that. When I do connect it, I get about 1 kV out of the... Uh, out of here. So we know that the regulation is doing something, but the values are going to have to be altered for this to work. But anyway, I'll show you what this does. Um, no HT at the moment. Just watch the meter. I'll just turn it up. 10, 20, 25 kV. There we go. Works fine. Works absolutely fine. So, and you can hear it singing away at one kilohertz. So that's, uh, that's encouraging that this was, this will work. Um, and there's plenty of HT left for us to, to do the regulation. So, uh, we may need to alter that, but I've actually actually come up with another idea, which I'll try before I do anything else. Let's kill HT. And it's to open this back up. Take out all the, the di no, take out the diodes, take out the capacitors, and just leave that as a, 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 tra a ring and transformer. And then use the tripler externally. Now, I know that's not exactly how we should be doing it, but there's an awful lot with vintage stuff that we cannot do because we cannot get the bits that we require. We can't get another can. We can't get the right capacitors. And to be fair, putting those capacitors in there was a bit of a nightmare. It was just trouble. All, and I've spent a lot of time on this. And I'm like, no, no, no. We need, to, we need now to try and get some kind of answer to this. Other than getting another tr uh, can that we know that is good, there's no really any other way. So I'm actually thinking of just taking everything back out of this can and leaving the transformer there and feeding the, this tripler from there. Uh, that will reduce the voltages that's floating around in the can anyway. Um, and of course the, the, the circuit's regulation will still operate as it should do and I'm sure it, it, it should be an answer. But again, I can only but try. Yeah. Now, this only thing is this is not a tripler right uh i think this is times four so but i can still get i can still put it the, the input to the focus input if i put the focus input in there i'll get less out of there which is probably the way to do it in fact what i'm going to try now is to put the focus input to the input <laughs> where it should be and see if the EHT has dropped. Um, so we'll see. Uh, this is all all experimental, but it's worth a try and it's a worth a way round about it. But I was really, really surprised that the, the, the jelly pot works. In fact, I've even got a, a 3000 EHT transformer and it works as well. But the only difference being is you get a, quite a fair bit of pulse on the, the anode. This is why I'm using the, the e, EL36. It's, it's spare. If it gets wasted, fair enough. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin an EL38. You know, uh, it does operate with the EL38. Fine. So that is uh, that is today's progress, if you want to call it progress.
Okay, thanks guys, bye.